What's going on everyone? Mark here with another video and this one may be a little controversial. We'll see. But this is going to cover two different parts of the old collection. I was fortunate enough to add several 1964 Topps cards for my set. And I will show you those and then I'll finish off with, in my opinion, which is where the controversial part comes in, who the greatest of all time is, and you'll be surprised. Um, a card I got sent in, or I sent in to get graded, came back, and, and in my opinion, he is the greatest of all time. So we will uh, we'll check that out at the end. But I was uh, uh, able to pick up a nice chunk of 64, um, in my opinion, higher grade singles for my set, and. Uh, I thought I'd share those with you, starting with number 97, Jim Fergosi. Number 105, Woody Held. What I really like about these is that they are probably the, the brightest colored cards that I've seen. Uh, not much scuffing, if anything. They've been well cared for over time, and, and I was fortunate to to nab these at uh, um, a really good price. So, number 122, Don McMahon, also of the Indians. Number 131, Steve Boros of the Chicago Cubs. And Soon to have been a, a Minnesota twin, Mudcat Grant, who pitched for the Indians before he went to the Twins, I believe. And if you'll notice, 1954, he pitched in good old Fargo in the Northern League. And uh, he was at Twins Fest a few years ago, and I did ask him about that. And he said Fargo was one of his favorite places to throw in because he said if the people were nice. Um, you know, obviously a lot of racial tension in the world at that time. Um, even so, and, and but he said he really enjoyed his time in Fargo, which is only about a year's worth. But um, we have had some pretty stellar baseball players come through these parts. Here's 147 Ray Sadecki with the Cardinals. Number 149, Paul Foytak of the Angels. Number 154, Dick Krzyzewski. I'm not quite sure how to say that one, of the Dodgers. Number 202, Galen Sisko of the Mets. Number 252, Ken Aspromonte of the Cubs. And a good, it, it just it just amazes me at how nice these are. Um, I was just I was thrilled to get these. Number two ninety six, Ed Kirkpatrick of the Angels. Here is a a manager card. Number two ninety eight of the Houston Colts, the forty fives, Harry Kraft. Number three fourteen. Jerry Buchek, or Buchek. Again, not quite sure on how to pronounce that name. Number 321, Bob Lillis of the Colts. Number 323, John Buzzhart of the White Sox. Number 326, Ron Brand of the Pirates. Number 332, Ray Washburn, pitcher for the Cardinals. And this next one cracks me up every time I see a card of his because it's been well publicized that, you know, um, he's just an odd looking dude. But number 335, Don Mossy. 
pitcher for the Tigers. 336, Andre Rogers of the Cubs. Here's a cool um, two-player card. Rookie Stars of the Dodgers, number 337, Al Ferrara and Jeff Torborg. Who went on to manage in the majors also. Number 340, Joe Cunningham of the White Sox. Number 344, Phil Linz of the Yankees. Number 349, Art Fowler of the Angels. Number 351, Dan Schneider of the Braves. The Milwaukee Braves, that is. 352 from the Red Sox, Eddie, Eddie Brassoud. Another rookie stars of the Reds, number 356, pitcher Bill McCool, and shortstop Chico Ruiz. Uh, this next guy went on to pitch for the Twins. Um, number 358, Ron Klein of the Senators. Number 361, Jay Hook of the Mets. And this next one is uh, it's a checklist. This is card number 362. And it just kind of surprises me that over time that this didn't get marked. I know that it's not rare by any means, but to see it unchecked and in such nice shape is, is pretty cool, even the backside um, with the orange borders there, pretty cool. 364, Joe Gaines of the Orioles. 367, Fred Whitfield, first baseman for the Indians. Number 368, uh, White Sox rookie stars, pitcher Fritz Ackley, and second baseman, third baseman Don Buford. 374, Bobby Bolin of the Giants. 436, Charlie Neal of the Reds. And that Reds uniform might be one of my favorites of all time. Just the sleeveless jersey and the really cool um, the Reds logo on the front. The pinstripes. Another checklist. Uh, 438. Again, unmarked. 447. Ted Bowsfield. Pitcher for the Athletics. Kansas City Athletics, that is. One of the cooler names in baseball, number 448, Cookie Rojas, infielder for the Phillies. Uh, this next guy went on to a, a pretty long career as a coach, I believe, for the Dodgers. I might need some help on that one, but Joe Amalfitano, the Cubs. Number 452, rookie stars for the Giants, Gil Garrido and Jim Hart. Four fifty-three. White Sox pitcher Frank Bauman or Bauman. Four fifty-four. The brother of a Hall of Famer and one of the greatest of all time, if not Tommy Aaron, Hank Aaron's brother. 456, Dodgers rookie stars of Wes Parker and John Weirhaus. 457, Jesse Gonder of the Mets. 
Number 458 is a Yankees pitcher, Ralph Terry. 459, Red Sox rookie stars, Pete Charton and Dalton Jones. And the last 64 tops I was able to pick up, um, went on to manage for the Phillies also. Um, and I do believe he recently passed away. Might have been last year even. Uh, pitcher Dallas Green. And if memory serves, I believe his granddaughter, I believe it was granddaughter or a grandniece or something like that, was one of the victims of the shooting that took place in Arizona several years ago um, that left the, I believe, state senator from Arizona, Gab Gabrielle Giffords. Um, she was shot, I believe. Uh, one of his relatives was a victim of that, if I remember correctly. All right, so those are the 64 tops singles I picked up. And now for, um, in my opinion, the greatest of all time. Uh, so this is not in baseball. Um, this is actually in football, and this is a card I picked up about two years ago and um, sent it in to get graded for a couple reasons. Number one, uh, curious as to what it would grade at because it's the nicest one I've, I've had in a collection. And um, uh, I just would like to make sure it's legit, obviously, uh, with so many fakes out there. But in my opinion, he is the greatest of all time. And that is uh, Joe Montana. I know I'm going to catch a lot of flack for that, but um, it graded a 7. Okay. Um, really nice card, I think. I thought the centering was outstanding. Um, not sure what I missed. Maybe it's off to top to bottom. I don't know. I was hoping for an 8. I knew it wasn't a 9. I knew it wasn't a 10. But... I was really hoping for an eight, um, but that's that's life. So anyway, um, appreciate everyone watching. Comment below if you would please, um, and hope everyone is having a great end of February, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.